All right, so in this example, uh, I have some data or at least frequency information about the number of cars arriving at a toll booth. Um, I don't think there are toll booths anymore <laughs> in California. So you just, maybe it's a traffic signal, okay? The number of cars arriving at a tra traffic signal in a minute um, or number of cars at a red light in California, where we are. All right, and the probabilities of associated with each of these and these are essentially frequencies that we could have calculated from a histogram and if you if you add up all the frequencies you'll notice that it adds up to one all right and i can i and one of the things i want to do is given this data i would like to for us this is kind of good practice i would like to draw the pmf and the CDF, so that's part A, and then we'll just focus on parts A and B for now. And that would mean like uh, part B is we want to find the mean, which is the expected value of X here. Uh, we want to find the mode and the median. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let's see. So the, the PMF is quite simply a plot of this data that's given to us. So it's not really that difficult. And, and that PMF would look like this. And these are my possible outcomes of X, which is really the number of cars. And then I'm going to draw, you know, to calculate my CDF, I'm going to calculate or sum up my cumulative values. So values for the CDF, it's just a running total here. And so if I extend this table, I'm just going to add up everything. This will be 0 0.025. Anything, you know, don't forget this is Fx or the probability. This represents the probability of x less than or equal to x like this. So I'm just going to do a running total. So 0.075 plus 0.25, which is 0 0.1. Then I, I, I'm going to add on this 0 0.125, 0 0.225, and I'm going to keep going. And I feel good because it adds up to 1. Hey. And so now I'm just going to plot this out. I'll plot this under the PMF just so that it looks nice and pretty. This. So here I'm just going to plot the CDF draw. Okay, and now I'm just going to plot the CDF values. All right, and there's my CDF A. So I've drawn my PMF, I've drawn my CDF, and then two, I can calculate the mean, which would just be kind of a weighted average. And so this is the sum of i equals 1 to 8 xi px xi, like this. And so for instance, x1 px x1 plus x2 times the probability of x equal to x2 dot 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 all the way to x3 probability of times the probability of x equal to sorry all the way to x8 the eighth value times the probability of x equal to x8. And all this can be done really quickly on a spreadsheet, but here, this, if I fill in some numbers, this would be like, you know, the number of cars for x1 is one. That's the outcome I expect for one. 
and the probability of x equal to x1 is 0.025. And you can see already right now what we're doing. I have the 1 times the 0.025, and then I'm just going to keep going. And I can use a probability mass function or the table that's given to me to do all this. And so my mean or expected value here is 4.9 cars. The mode is the outcome associated with the highest probability. So in this case, if I look here, that is quite simply the highest probability is this 0.275 value here. And that's associated with 6. So this number right there, the mode equals 6. And that's because the probability of the random variable x equal to 6 is 0.275 and has the highest probability associated with it. And the median is the outcome associated with a probability, a cumulative probability of 50% or the probability of x less than or equal to x equals 0.5 right here. So we're looking for that, that middle value. And for us right here, the way we can extract this off the CDF is we look at 0.5, this is fx of x equal to 0.5 and the outcome associated with that if I go straight down is obviously 5. So this value right here this x50 or the 50th percentile is 5.